Welcome to the fascinating world of bees. In this enchanting journey, we're going to explore the incredible life cycle of these tiny but mighty creatures. From buzzing around flowers to making sweet honey, bees play an essential role in our world. There are lots of things to learn about the honeybee, so let's start with where they live. Honeybees live in hives. There are two types of hives. Natural and man-made. Natural hives are built by bees from natural materials found in the environment. Natural beehives are normally found in the wild, but sometimes bees are funny creatures and build their hives in places around our houses or yards. Natural beehives can have be different in structure, depending on things such as the size and shape of the place it is built. Man-made beehives are made by humans using different materials such as wood, plastic, or metal. Man-made hives are placed and managed by beekeepers in places chosen for optimal bee health and honey production. Man-made hives are designed with special features to make beekeeping easier when it comes to inspecting the hive and harvesting honey. Bee hives run very smoothly because they have a community and everyone has a job to do. There are three types of honey bees in the hive. There is one queen, worker bees, and drone bees. The queen bee is the largest bee in the hive. She typically has a long abdomen that gets thinner toward the bottom. The queen bee's thorax, black spot on her back, is bigger than the workers. Sometimes bee farmers put a dot of paint on the queen's thorax so they can spot her more easily. The queen has a stinger, however, it is not as sharp as that of a worker bee. The queen's bee's job is to lay eggs. In peak season, she can lay up to 1,500 eggs per day. The queen bee is the only bee in the hive that lays eggs. The amount of eggs she lays depends on factors such as food availability, colony size, and the environment. The queen bee produces a scent that regulates the behavior and development of the colony. This scent helps keep the colony together and everything running smoothly in the hive. The queen bee can live up to five years, but as she gets older it becomes more difficult for her to do her jobs. If the queen bee becomes old or weak, the colony will rear a new queen by selecting a young larva and feeding it a special diet called royal jelly, which triggers its development into a queen bee. Worker bees are the smallest bees in the hive. They have a smaller body with pollen baskets on their hind legs for collecting pollen and glands for producing wax. Worker bees perform lots of tasks throughout their life. As they get older, their jobs change. Young worker bees start their lives as nurse bees. Their job is to feed larvae with a mixture of honey and royal jelly and take care of the larvae. Worker bees also clean and maintain the hive, removing debris, dead bees, and other waste materials to keep the hive clean. As worker bees mature, they become foragers. Their job is to go outside the hive to collect nectar, pollen, water, and propolis. Foragers are responsible for gathering everything the hive needs. Forager bees perform waggle dances inside the hive to communicate the location of food sources to their nestmates. Worker bees are responsible for building and maintaining the hive. They produce beeswax from special glands on their abdomen and use it to build comb, cap cells, and repair hive structures. Worker bees also serve as guards, defending the hive against intruders such as predators and other bees from rival colonies. Worker bees regulate the temperature inside the hive by fanning their wings to circulate air or clustering together to generate heat during cold weather. Worker bees have a relatively short lifespan compared to the queen bee, typically living for several weeks. Drones are bigger and chubbier than worker bees. They have big eyes that help them see well, especially when they're flying. Drones don't do any chores in the hive like collecting nectar or pollen or taking care of baby bees. 
They just hang out and enjoy life in the hive. Their main job is to be the mate of the queen bee. Drone bees are pretty much the husbands of the queen bee. Drones don't live very long. Their life is short and simple, but they make the most of it while they're around. Unlike worker bees and the queen, drones don't have stingers. So, they can't sting you even if they wanted to. Drones love to fly around outside the hive, exploring and looking for queens. They're really good at flying and can cover long distances. Drones might not have as many jobs as the other bees, but they're still important in their own way. They help make sure there are always new baby bees being born, and they get to enjoy sunny days flying around the hive. They're the relaxed, big-eyed bees of the family. Bees are best known for producing honey. Honey is a natural sweet substance produced by honeybees from the nectar of flowering plants. It has been eaten by humans for thousands of years. How is honey made? Honey is made by honeybees. Bees suck the nectar from flowers using their long tongues and store it in their extra stomach, known as the honey stomach. Once the bees return to the hive, they regurgitate the nectar into the honeycomb cells. They then fan the nectar with their wings to remove some moisture, transforming it into honey. Finally, they seal the honeycomb cells with beeswax. What is honey made of? Honey is made of mostly sugars, with glucose and fructose being the main ones. The exact ingredients of honey can be different depending on the type of flowers the bees visited. Honey also contains small amounts of carbohydrates, vitamins, minerals, and more. Honey is sometimes used as a natural sweetener in cooking and baking. It can also be drizzled over foods like yogurt, oatmeal, or fruit. Honey has also been used as medicine for hundreds of years. Because it is an anti-inflammatory, it is used to soothe sore throats and coughs. Honey is also often used in skincare products and to heal wounds, so if you trip and cut your knee, you can rub some natural honey on it to help it heal. Why are bees so important? Honey bees are one of the most important pollinators for both wild plants and food crops because they carry pollen from one flower to another. Scientists say that honeybees pollinate about 30% of the world's crops, including fruits, vegetables, nuts, and oil seeds. Without bees, many plants would not be able to regrow, leading to less food. Honeybees are also an important part of ecosystems, playing a role in the pollination of wild plants and maintaining biodiversity. By pollinating a wide variety of plants, bees help support diverse habitats and ensure the survival of many plant species. Healthy ecosystems are essential for providing clean air, water, and habitat for other wildlife, so bees are essential to keep the planet and everyone who lives on it healthy because of this we must make sure we protect these valuable little creatures. Fun Facts Did you know? Many people are afraid of bees, but bees don't want to hurt anyone. In fact, if a honeybee stings you, it will die afterwards, so they really, really don't want to sting anyone. Did you know? All worker bees are girl bees and all drone bees are boy bees. Did you know? Bees are intelligent animals. They can remember patterns and odors and even recognize human faces. Are you ready for our quick quiz? Question 1. What are the three types of bees in the hive? <whistles> Queen bee, worker bees, and drone bees. Question 2. What is the black spot on a bee's back called? (whistles) 
The area with the black spot on a bee's back is called the thorax. Question 3. How do bees collect nectar from flowers? Bees use their long tube-shaped tongues to suck nectar from the flowers. That's the end of our video for today. Thanks for watching. If you want to see more videos from No Perfect Parent, visit our channel and subscribe. Thank you.